To live in a contemporary world is such a wonderful experience. This generation has many to offer as there are different development, advancement, and innovation where one can easily view and try things easily. However, our existence in this modern time isn't only about appreciating the beauty that this world has to offer. Our existence in this modern world becomes more meaningful if we will try to address issues and problems that is timely and relevant. Our existence has a purpose in this modern world when we practice ourselves to become a spokesperson of our community as it has a great potential to make a change and difference. The issue about global malnutrition and hunger is an example of the world's greatest problem that seems to ask for a resolution. This global crisis has become more challenging and as the global pandemic exists, where millions of people died and suffered from different economic and holistic problems. As an act of awareness and concerns to those victims, me and my team conducted a video campaign that tackles the severe cases of malnutrition and hunger across the world. The video campaign objective is to raise an awareness and inform people about serious cases of global malnutrition and hunger. It also tackles different implementation, projects, and ways on how to gradually end this problem. As we seek information of others, we even try to reach out different people and organizations around the world, which has the same goal to, say, to solve the problem. We send emails to different organizations like Bread for the World, Clean Cooking Alliance, Actions Against Hunger, Akasha Patra Feeding, America Rice Hunger, Spoon, and UNICEF. This organization has different implementation that is very useful and beneficial in fighting against hunger and malnutrition. The video campaign quickly spread online with the help of concerned netizens who shares and react on it. The video campaign has now 30 shares with more than 400 views and 200 plus heart reacts and comments. As a way of supporting our campaign, some netizens encourage their friends to comment and mention some of their friends and relatives so that they can be informed and enlightened about the reality of this problem. In addition, Mr. David Navarro, a co-director and chair of Global Health at Imperial Institute of Global Health Innovation, imparts his thoughts and importance of nutrition. Here's the short video clip. Every government and every organization everywhere should put enormous energy into ensuring that people are well nourished because that quite simply is one of the most powerful ways to ensure that they can give the greatest possible intellectual and physical contribution to the future of their communities and nations. What we've all learned over the years is there's plenty of expertise in our world, there's plenty of capacity on which to build, there's plenty of examples that show the value of innovation. And by respecting and trusting the capacities that we all have, we will be able to work together for food systems that contribute to the health and nutrition of everyone everywhere. I've seen it myself through the work on the movement to scale up nutrition, just how much energy and capacity there is at community level, in nations, regionally and globally. And we need to find ways to help that kind of energy to come up and be nurtured so that it leads to good nutrition and the end of hunger. It's within our power to do it. We use the term food systems to describe the process through which food is produced, processed, distributed and made available so that people can access it in order to ensure that they're well nourished and healthy. Now a good food system contributes to nutrition and health of everybody everywhere. A good food system 
regenerates ecosystems so that there is plenty of water available, so that the land and soil are good, so that forests are available, and so that there is biodiversity. All in all, a good food system, a good food system makes certain that ecosystems are strong. According to Mr. David Navarro, the hunger is the paste used to describe a period of severe food insecurity in which people go without food for a day. On and owing to a lack of money, food and other resources. In addition to his statement, hunger and malnutrition are directly connected to the food security in which implies the availability, accessibility, and utilization of food. He said, food security occurs when a person always has an adequate availability and access to enough safe and nutritious food to maintain an active and healthy lifestyle. For me, we should create a stable food security to mitigate this kind of problem that every country is facing. We should be aware and be a way to end this global issue. As a student of this subject, the contemporary world, we have learned to see things in different lenses. We have learned to justify and support our thoughts, opinions, and ideas with the rightful basis and factual evidences that came primarily on the reliable sources and on real situations. As we conduct this study, we have learned to give compassion and empathy for people around us. We have seen the reality that being part of the global citizen is more than just being conscious of the things that is happening around us. We have come up with this idea that being part of a global citizen means we exist for others. We encourage people to question and challenge inequality both in our community and on a global scale. We will passionately support social justice and sustainable practices. We are the instrument for others who can stand on their own. We are the voice of others when they can speak for their rights. We are the strength, hope, and light of others when they are feeling hopeless and helpless. We are champions of a more secure and fair future for all on our planet. As a learner of this subject, the contemporary world, I end up with a realization that we exist for others. While conducting this study about global malnutrition and hunger, I have seen the reality that other people need us. They need someone who will speak for them. They need someone who will fight for them. They need someone who will help them. They need someone who will serve as their light and hope every time they can stand on their own. While browsing the statistics containing the number of people who suffers from this crisis, I have realized that I should be grateful that I ate more than twice a day. I have also learned to save the food we eat by reducing the amount of leftover foods. Moreover, the limited resources we have should also take into account that we must be resp responsible of using it as overusing it can lead to depletion and other related problems that will affect the whole community in the long run. Although there are many implementations and pro projects re related to this issue, there are still numerous amount of people who suffers from this crisis. 
In addition, I've also realized that being a spokesperson addressing different kinds of problems that our, that our world is facing today is indeed our duty as part of a global citizen. Through this study, I have learned to raise an awareness and to speak out what is right. It boosts my eagerness and willingness to learn and to be part in solving problems and issues that is timely and relevant across the world. As a global citizen, it is our responsibility to take care of one another. We should be a spokesperson, a leader, an advocate who aims to have a better world of living. Good day, sir. I am Sheila Misa Meliano, taking up the course Bachelor of Science and Entrepreneurship 11 and the subject Contemporary World. In this two-minute video, I will share what I have experienced and my realization while doing the final paper. My venture to this finals is one of a kind and being a learner of the subject Contemporary World is a great, one of my greatest experiences I personally experienced on how to communicate with different international organizations that aims to end the hunger and malnutrition. This is one of the global problem that needs to address or else it would take up billions of life every year. As I reach out to the various organization, I experience nervousness and excitement while also wondering if they would respond to my email, knowing that they are busy working hard to end the problem of hunger and malnutrition, and yet they still have time to respond to our request. I realize that these organizations are willing to collaborate and help other organizations just to end the said problem. While studying in the subject, I am not just became a student, I also became an advocate. As I post advocacy video in different social media platforms that I have, my heart felt so much emotion when I see that most of the people react hard on it, signs that they appreciate the said activity that we work hard. At the same time, reading the feedback seems that they understand the problem that we want them to address. At this point, I realize that as a student, I can do more for others to those that has no capacity in voicing out what they need. I conclude that using my voice could save life and if we work together, we can build a better world for everyone, a world where hunger and malnutrition doesn't exist. As I go over my experience while conducting this final paper, I realize how important to address this kind of global issue. We should be a good global citizens to reach this global issue. It may be hard in the first few weeks because of some problems that our group is facing. But when we start to create this final paper, we easily cope up. We intend to discuss with you the border idea of global problem that our world is facing today especially global malnutrition and hunger. We also seek to address and implement some ways how to mitigate or lessen the severity of this global issue with the help of the organization around the world that mainly focus on ending poverty, hunger, and malnutrition that are timely and relevant across the world. As we expect, our final paper and video campaign which many people from different social media platforms, citizens react and respond commenting with their knowledge and thoughts on the impact of malnutrition and hunger on the economic growth and sharing our video campaign with others. We created an advocacy campaign video and share it on our different social media platforms as well as emailed our letter to international organization which allowed us a large number of people to see our advocacy not only locally but also globally. This campaign's goal is to raise awareness, creating this final paper and advocacy campaign is both an honor and responsibility because we want to deal with this issue and be a way to assure the success to mitigate this problem. Advocacy is defined 
as any action that speaks in favor of, recommends, argues for a cause, supports, or defends, or pleads on behalf of others. Our advocacy is, is our role in the battle of malnutrition and hunger. Choosing a topic for our advo advocacy campaign was the most challenging part for us. It worried me slightly because in our group, we have different ideas and opinions. We struggle on how to choose a topic. One of our members suggested that malnutrition is one of the least focus of the government, and yet it is the very important issue around the world. We were able to define malnutrition as not having enough energy or nutrients to live a physically active life that allows for optimal health. It encompasses both overnutrition and undernutrition and has direct negative consequences in terms of disease and disability, brain development, educational attainment, and income potential for individuals and communities. We have learned that global citizenship is to respect universal values such as peace, sustainability, and upholding the human rights and dignity of all people. Diversity, interdependence, empathy, and perspective are essential values that contributes in multiple contexts, locally, nationally, and internationally without harming one community to benefit another. That's all.